On this episode of Cache Canada, it's the tale of two earth caches. That's right, two. And they're pretty remarkable, and they're well worth the ratings that they have, which are not that common. Come along with us. Starting to heat up just a little bit. Not used to the warmer temperatures we got. Fifteen degrees Celsius today. Where at home we might have two, or it might be below freezing. And it's getting a little winded going up. We're getting close. And this is not a park and grab hearth cache. It's not a one and a half, one and a half. This is a three, four, or a four, three, for a reason. It's not easy. We've made the turn in the trail, and we're now on top of the ridge, making our way to actual ground zero and the stone cuts. So we've, we've descended and then ascended as much as we need to, except for going back. So now we get to make our observations and off to my right is a really nice view from on top of this hill. Tighter and smaller as you go. And we're getting into ground zero of the stone cuts. So here we are in the cut, deep down, and the trail goes right through it to the other side. So, what makes this a 4 3? There's a lot to do in this earth cache. You have to take uh, several pictures, and with the pictures, uh, a photograph of your GPS showing the coordinates of that picture and your observation. All of that needs to be loaded up with your log. You actually don't send anything to the CO. All of it goes into your log. And he's very strict in his uh, description of the cache. He wants to make sure that nobody takes a picture from someone else and uses it for that log. If he finds that happens, he will delete your log. So that's what makes this a 4-3. The 3 is the terrain to get here. It's a little, you know, ascending and descending. Not so much. It's not very strenuous. It's a little bit, if you are not used to that kind of thing, you'll be breathing hard. But the 4 difficulty is because of the requirements from the CO, and it's not for everybody. Like I said before, this is not a one and a half, one and a half earth cache. This is not a park and grab. This is not for everyone. But if you enjoy awesome places like this, this is for you. It seems the more we're going down the trail, the more enclosed in it's getting. There's little spots that open up, but. This is almost like a cave over here. Doesn't it remind you of Eagle Soar in Northern Ontario where we did that episode? Yeah, Ontario. that's exactly what I was thinking of. That's really dark now. Okay, 
Okay, take a picture right here. With the trail mark. This is a cool spot. So why did we come here? Yeah, Cash Canada, we want to come here because of the rating. The 4-3, there are only 59. 59. 59 four, three earth caches worldwide, and there are only six in North America. And one of them is right here in Alabama. One down. Yeah, this is the closest 4-3 to us, other than what's out west in Colorado, Oregon and Seattle, and Western Canada. This fills in one more square of our fizzy grid. One more on our way to 81. That was fun. Well, there you go. That was a 4-3 earth cache. It was fantastic. Yeah. That was a real 4-3 earth cache, not like some that you might see. I mean, you're not going to see that many because how many are there in North America? I think there's a total of six. Six, that's it. And, and you the, got one there. Right yeah, there. and aren't the rest of them like all up the Seattle, Vancouver way? On the West Coast. So yeah. if you're going to Geo Woodstock, Portland is a good stop, Seattle and Vancouver. You can get yourself a 4-3. Unless, of course, you're in Europe, there's all kinds of them over there. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Let's get that other earth, ca earth cache. That's a four and a half, three and a half. Can we sleep on it first? Sure. Okay. Part two of our Tale of Two Earth Caches will have to wait for a while. Natural Bridge in the Forest, GC3A3M4, is a four and a half difficulty, three and a half terrain earth cache and sounds really great. We planned on getting it the same day but we just got behind and would have arrived in the dark. We hope to get it soon. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. <laughs>